This lesson will focus on Reading Foundations K.2, which is to demonstrate an understanding of spoken word, syllables, and sounds. The main focus is on K.2C, which focuses on blending and segmenting the onset and rhyme of a word. This lesson is based on research from the 95% Group Incorporated, MLPP, and the Florida Center for Reading Research. Included in this presentation is a sample lesson to teach the skill of blending, which is based off of a lesson found in materials created by the 95% Group Incorporated. Blending and segmenting are vital skills that help to create a solid foundation for future reading. Research from MLPP states that students need to be able to scan through words and sequence the sounds made by letters or groups of letters. In the case of blending and segmenting, readers will learn to quickly divide a word into two parts, the onset and the rhyme. This will allow them to manipulate the sounds and will improve fluency and help with sound spelling. Both of the skills covered in this standard are important components of reading. According to the 95% group, blending is the first stage of scaffolding for students to hear that there are two main parts when working on the onset rhyme skill level. This will help to improve fluency as readers develop and grow. It will also help students with the skill of rhyming. Segmenting is also a crucial skill for kindergarten students. It is important to note a distinction between segmenting onset and rhyme and segmenting sounds. This standard is focused on segmenting onset and rhyme, which is to break down a word into two parts, as opposed to breaking it down into each phoneme or sound. This will be the first exposure that most students have to breaking down words into anything smaller than syllables, and will serve as a bridge that transitions students into the phonemic level. Words have two parts, onset and rhyme. The onset is the sound or sounds before the vowel in a word. The rhyme is the vowel and the consonants that follow. In kindergarten, we focus on CVC words, which have a fairly simple onset and rhyme pattern. For example, in the word bed, b is the onset and ed is the rhyme. This distinction can help us to explain the concept of blending and segmenting to our students. Here are just a few more examples to demonstrate onset and rhyme. The green pieces are the onset and the red is the rhyme. The puzzle pieces illustrated here are used in the 95% group lessons to help students visualize how words can be broken up into different parts. If these materials are not available to you, you can adapt the same concept using different colored cutouts from construction paper. This lesson is meant to serve as an intervention for students who have not yet mastered the skills of segmenting and blending. This lesson assumes that you have already taught these skills as a whole group and that you have determined what students are not yet proficient. In order for this instruction to be successful, it should be taught in a small group setting with no more than five students. This will allow each student the opportunity to manipulate the materials and allows for more differentiated instruction. This lesson is based on the Fisher and Fry gradual release model, which includes three to four different components. It includes teacher modeling, I do, guided practice, we do, collaborative learning, you do together, and independent practice, you do alone. It is important that all of these parts are present each time the instruction takes place. Introduce the lesson by setting the purpose and engaging students. For example, begin with, as readers and writers, we need to be able to put sounds together to make a word. This will help us read new words and learn to spell words in our writing. Then, pull students into the lesson by building interest. A great way to do this is with a fun video or song. The video on this page is a short video demonstrating the idea of onset and rhyme. After the introduction, model for the students how to blend the onset and rhyme. Review with the students what the different color pieces represent. Green is the onset and red is the rhyme. 
This is something you should have already introduced, but it is important to remind the students before moving on. Point to the green piece and say, the first sound is mmm. Then point to the red piece and say, the second sound is ug. Now put the pieces together and say the first sound, making sure to drag it out. Mmm. Then add the second sound, ug. Mmm, ug. Mug. The word is mug. Repeat the process again with a new word. Make sure to manipulate the pieces and narrate what you are doing. If you feel that your students need more modeling, do not hesitate to repeat several times. The next section of this lesson is the We Do, where the teacher will guide the students through practice of the skill. Tell the students the sounds, such as N and O's. Then have each student say the sound as the teacher moves the pieces. If the word is nose, the student should point to the green piece and say N, then point to the red and say O's. The teacher should then drag the green piece as the student says N. Once it gets to the red piece, the teacher should point to the red and the student should say O's. The teacher should then put each part together and have the student pronounce the word N O's. Nose. Repeat this so that every student has at least one turn. Remember to have a word list handy so that you can easily provide students with sounds. In this section, students should do all the parts on their own. The teacher should observe and intervene if necessary. The student should both manipulate the pieces and say the sounds. If it becomes apparent that students are not capable of doing this on their own, it may be necessary to model it again. The last section is an activity that is meant to be done in partners. It will allow students to practice blending and can also be adapted for segmenting. The cards for this activity are located in the lesson plan and resource section of Edify. It is important that during the activity, the teacher monitors each set of partners and corrects misconceptions. Make sure to model this activity thoroughly before releasing students to practice independently. Once students have mastered the skill of blending, the same lesson can be used to teach segmenting. Go through the same process of guided release but model for students how to break the words apart. Say a word, such as bag, then pull the green piece away, saying the sound as you do, b. Then point to the red part and say the remaining sound, ag. Then say each sound separately, b, ag. The formative assessment for this lesson will give you the most information if conducted individually and orally. There are assessments available in Edify that will help you to determine if your student is proficient in this skill. The assessments require both teacher and student participation. The teacher will record the results in a checklist format. The resources on this page will provide you with more background knowledge resources, and instruction ideas.